One of the biggest questions I get from clients that have families is, where should I live so that I'm in the best school district for my children? Because we want to make sure we're getting our children the best education we can. So in Palm Beach County in the Treasure Coast, we have charter schools, public schools, vocational schools. We have uh, schools for special needs. We have private schools and we have the Florida School Choice Program. So that's what we're going to go over today. So don't go anywhere. Hi friends, my name is Lee Bricky, and if this is the first time you've been to my site, here we talk about everything real estate in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. So if any of that interests you, you're gonna wanna subscribe. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And for subscribing, here's a picture of Henry. <coughs> so families moving to Florida or moving around Florida who have children K to 12 are always looking for the best school district. But with the best school district, sometimes comes with the highest price homes. So depending on where you're looking, you could find A-rated schools, but the home prices may be out of your reach. So what I'm going to do today is take you through a few different ways that you can take a look at the different school districts, see how they fit for your family and your children, and also learn more about what type of schools that are available for your kids, but also learn more about the school choice program that Florida offers. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to share my screen here. This is a great service. So one of the places I like to send clients to first is Redfin. And Redfin not only allows you to find a home that fits your budget needs, but also it shows you what the ratings in those markets are as far as the school districts go. And they use gradeschools.org, which is a pretty accurate system. So let me show you how it works. Here we've chosen Martin County, St. Lucie County, and Palm Beach County, the markets that my team works in. And we're gonna go here to filters and we're gonna roll down to schools. And when we get to schools, we'll crank that up to nine out of 10. And let's look at elementary schools to start. And you can see here now all the markets with elementary schools that are nine out of 10 ratings. And in Port St. Lucie, the average price is 355 is the average list price. And when we get into Jupiter though, we're at 1.8 million. So you can see how that jumps from St. Lucie County to Palm Beach County, and then Boca Raton. Uh, here you're looking at 1.7 million and another school district that is known to be highly rated is Wellington, which they're around 1.2 million on the list prices right now. So that's the average list prices in each of these markets. So, so now you can use this to figure out you know what your budget for your home is and your needs are but also you can see the school district but one of the things i find that clients will do sometimes is they'll start looking at high school when they have elementary school children and i i, I think that's a mistake because when you're when if your children are in elementary school you're gonna have several years before they're in high school so the way the school districts in these three counties are working right now is they're growing dramatically because the population is growing. So there are new schools being built, teachers being hired, and also a lot of new charter schools and uh, magnet schools being built. So let me show you the next step. So one of the things that makes Florida different is the school choice program. And this program allows you to now start doing research on what type of school would be best for your child. So some people send their children to public school. Some want to send their children to private schools. Some want to get into a charter school or a magnet school and others want to go into vocational schools like the school of the arts. My children went to uh, Bach and Dreyfus school, of the arts in Palm Beach County for a theater. So that was, a public school it just they had to uh, apply in audition to get accepted some kids get in some kids don't but they can keep doing it every single year if they want to go to one of these schools another thing that the school choice program offers here in florida is to send your child to a school that might not necessarily be in your district so let's say there's a school you want your child to go to that's out of the district as long as you can get them there and there's availability in the school you can get them in that school if you choose. 
So once you figure out the market where the homes are that fit your budget and needs, and you found the school district, it's time to start digging in. The first thing I would say is start with the schools in that district. So each school in each district has its own website. So this is uh, St. Lucie County right here. So they offer all the, they have all the elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and magnet schools and non-traditional schools on this site. You can call them, ask them about the schools. You can go in and visit the schools. Martin County has the same thing with the Martin County School District and also the School Choice Program. And then Palm Beach County, uh, same thing here, different schools, some really great schools for autism and special needs in Palm Beach County. Again, it's all about just being able to get your child to the school and there's all kinds of services to help you do that also. And then the next cho choice and then the next step I would do is is look into the school choice program and do that through the Florida Department of Education where you can give them a call and find out everything you need to know about how the school choice program works. You can start with their website and then from there you can pick up the phone and start making those calls. And you're going to find a school in one of these three counties, wherever you're living, that is going to fit the needs of your child and the needs of you as a parent. Another great place to take a look at schools and what the school district looks like as a whole would be niche.com as here you can see palm beach county schools they're given a b plus overall rating on niche grade and then also you can look at martin county schools and st lucie's county schools where martin county schools are overall a minus and uh, st lucie public schools are overall b minus so great resources for looking for schools but it's going to take you getting on the phone and then eventually visiting these schools and finding the best school for your child like we did when our children were growing up here in south florida so i hope this video helps you with your decision of where you're going to send your child and where you're going to live when you're moving to south florida and if you're looking to buy and sell anywhere in Palm Beach County or the Treasure Coast, don't forget that I am a full-time real estate agent and my information is right there on your screen. And do me a favor, if you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to slap that subscribe button right there. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our real estate tips and tours. And you can watch our next video right there on the walkable community of tradition. Be kind to each other and I'll see you in the next video.